Hey folks, my name is Anthony Provolone and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make your own Sunny Mask or CCFCG19 mask next. Okay, so the first thing I did was traced out my pattern on some cardstock paper. After that, I put some heavy duty packing tape on the frame area because I didn't want it to tear or rip once I cut it out. After that, I cut out the upper beak and then I cut out the lower beak pattern and then I cut out the jowls part of the pattern. I then cut out the feather frame with my X-Acto knife and trimmed up any pieces with a pair of scissors. The packing tape keeps the feather frame very secure and it will not tear or rip. I then cut out the eyebrows, the eye holes, and the mouth part of the main face of the pattern. I didn't have any 5mm EVA foam in yellow, so I glued a piece of 2mm EVA foam to a piece of 5mm EVA foam black. I then traced out the main face pattern on a piece of 5mm red EVA foam. And I had to adjust the main pattern because the eye holes were not correct. I also created a set of eye frames and eye screens. Uh, next, I had to trace out the mouth part, the eye frames in 2mm black EVA foam and use the eyebrows with 5mm EVA black foam. I traced the feather frame out in 2mm EVA black foam. I traced the jowls and the upper and lower beaks. I then heat sealed the pieces and cut out the eye frames. And then after that, I cut out the beak parts. Okay, now that I cut out all my pieces, I'm going to show something that looks kind of cool if you use this as a technique. If you uh, do it straight, obviously it looks like that. You can have a border around it. Uh, I did this for my robin belt. But you can also take this piece and cut an outside angle like that. You have a really cool looking um, beveled edge that looks pretty neat. And I'll just do this there too. Something like that. So that way when you go to put this on your armor, you can have this really cool outline detail with some foam on the inside. So this is kind of a really neat, cool technique that you can do with some foam. I then heat sealed the main face of the pattern and then traced in the iframes where I was going to glue them in later. I applied glue where I was going to put the frame on the main face pattern and also where the mouth was going to go. After that, I glued in the feather frame piece and the mouth part. I cut out the eye holes and then I cut around the entire part of the main face part of the pattern. I then applied the jowls and traced them out so I knew where to glue them. I glued in the eyebrows and the feather parts on the top part of the main face of the pattern. I then glued in the jowls. After that, I traced out my eye screens and glued them to the eye frames. I also applied glue to the area on the beaks where I had scored the center line of it for a better fold. I attached the eye frames and screens to the mask and then I fitted in the upper beak tracing where I wanted to put it and also the lower part of the beak tracing it where I wanted it to go and then I glued each piece the lower beak in first and then the upper beak to where I traced it out. On the inside of the mask, uh, I created a nose piece, and for lack of better words, I called it a nose hanger. The main purpose of this piece was to keep the mask from sliding down my face when I wore it. I needed two inches at the base of this piece, so I used a piece of masking tape to keep it two inches wide at the bottom of the piece. I then took that piece and put it on the mask in the area where I felt that my nose was going to go on the mask. After I had it where I wanted it, I applied adhesive to the mask and glued in the nose piece right where I wanted it. After that, I attached my spacers 
So I could put that above the nose piece. Those were going to keep the mask away from my forehead and keep it more straight on my face. I then attached the straps to the back of the mask with some duct tape in the positions where I wanted it to fit around my head. I traced those out. After that, I glued both straps to each side. The only thing left to do at that point to finish the mask was to apply some Velcro to the ends of the strapping and then the mask would be complete. 